So now that we have a class car, let's go ahead and instantiate it. So I have just created one file called uh, car test.java. Uh, so here I'll say new car. So what happened in this line? A new object has been created, an instance of the class car has been created. So in Java, we use new keyword to instantiate a class. So what do you mean by that? An instance of class car is created, but no one is referring to it. So it can be called as an it can be called as an ARPAN object. So let me explain further what happens in the memory. So when the Java executes new car statement, it allocates memory for all the members of class car. So what are those? That is height, weight, height, weight, color, speed, and start, move, and stop. Some of you might assume that memory is not allocated for this. So I told you the members of class car. So members means even the properties and behaviors are included. Isn't it? So now no one is referring to this object. We cannot access this object. Since because no one is referring to this object, we can call it as an ARPAN object. So what happens? Sometime later something called GC, garbage collector will come and clean it up. So now let's say we say car. Ford year. In this case, what happens? A reference is created, but it is not referring to any instance. When it's a car Ford, a reference is created. So in memory, the memory is allocated for an what? A reference called Ford is not referring to anywhere. So some two bytes of memory gets allocated for this guy. How much? Two bytes. But is not referring anywhere. By saying car Ford, we are only declaring that. Ford is more like a postmaster who is capable of pointing to an address of type car. Ford is more like a postmaster, a reference which is capable of pointing to an address of type car. Is it clear? So that is the whole fund about it. So in this case, we cannot call Ford as an object. Okay, now suppose if I say Ford equal to new car, what happens in the memory now? A brand new set of memory gets allocated for all the members of class car. Now Ford is pointing to this object. So you get the point here. What happened to this object? It is gone. It is an orphan object. No one is referring to that. So in the memory we have only one object where Ford is a reference which is pointing to the new object what we have created. Is it clear? Now what happens next? Suppose now if I say car Audi equal to new car. So in this case what happens is in the memory now. Memory gets allocated for the reference called Audi and a brand new set of memory gets allocated for all the members of class car again. Ford is pointing to this object now. So Ford is pointing to a completely a different location altogether and Audi is pointing to a completely different location altogether. So what you have to understand here, every time the new car is statement is executed, a brand new memory gets allocated. So this memory whatever is allocated, so you can say when the new car is executed, this memory is allocated in let's say in Vijayanagar and this memory whatever has been allocated. We can say this memory is allocated in say let's say BTM layout. So like this in the RAM basically in a totally different location memory gets allocated. So this is what is happening behind the scene. So now that we have two objects they are referring to two different locations. Using this object we can access their members. In the next video we will learn how to access the members.